Queen Elizabeth's silence on the liberal idiocy of her tyrannical government, the commoners, that common woman, that put Michael Savage on a list is a, the straw that has broke this camel's back. You know, Elizabeth, you're, you're nothing more than white trash. Uh, you did not make history. You rode history like a horse. You're not even the true royalty that should be in there. My hero, if there is anybody that would be a royal hero for me, which there's not, would have been that king, the king that exiled himself because of your foolishness. You should not even be in the royal position you were placed in. You were silver spoon fed. You've done nothing but ride history. I actually saw you once, 1978 or 79, I was stationed in Berlin doing a real job and I drove this silly officer to see you in the Olympia Stadium what a joke and I thought to myself at the time this woman is nothing more than white trash you get yeast infections no doubt but your silence your silence against this uh, American hero. Now listen, I don't agree with everything Michael Savage says. I don't even listen to him that often. But he's a hero because he speaks what he believes and he believes in the freedom of speech, which you do not, obviously. You are white trash. Look at your children. Look at that fool. Look at that Princess Diana running around, whoring around. If the other king would have been, or the real king would have stayed in his position, the one that, oh man, married an American divorcee, a man that knew true love, and gave up the silliness of the yeast-infected queen slot to follow his true beliefs. He spurned you. To not say something about that silly piece of garbage is amazing. So normally I would have left England's queen alone. However, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. You are simply white trash, as is your family. Look at the little idiot with the Nazi uniform on. You know, my father, uh, my mother's uncle on my mother's side uh, who I never got to m uh, meet because he died at the Battle of the Bulge. You know England you're not wor worth one drop of American blood anymore. If Obama had any sense he'd pull everything out of Europe period. So Your silence is deafening uh, Elizabeth. My eardrums are breaking. I flew into England once, into Heathrow, had a very expensive cup of uh, cheap, no good tasting coffee, and couldn't wait to get out of there. So you can put me on your list. I have no intentions of ever going there. I did that once, couldn't wait to get out of there. I didn't even want to see past your Heathrow airport. What needs to be done is you go ahead and uh, take that mosque. You need to get uh, uh, the England, you need to get rid of the queen. Uh, all that property and all that garbage she inherited, writing history. She doesn't make history, she rides it. Uh, make a mosque out of that Buckingham Palace or slice it up uh, and let the Union Party people stay in there. Let the commoners move in there. Make a, you can, you, you, you could make a lot of little apartments there. So, yes, you get yeast infections just like any other woman, I'm sure, probably more so. 
your white trash. Your silence is deafening. I can't stand it anymore. It's so loud. And that I actually had relatives that died in World War II trying to save you lousy, uh, non-appreciative creatures is beyond me. I don't agree with everything Michael Savage says, but I tell you what, he's a hero. Yeah, I remember Olympus Stadium, you riding around, little carriage driving you around. I'm thinking to myself, this woman uh, uh, goes to the toilet like any other woman. You know, this woman who rode history didn't make any history, rode it, a uh, silver spoon in her mouth. I thought about that then, and I said, that's the reason, and that silly officer I took there, what an idiot. That's typical of military, U.S. military officers. They think they're some kind of royalty. Jerks. Just like you're a jerk. So, God forsake the queen. Uh, the hell with the queen. The hell with England. The hell with blind Patterson. And the hell with, I don't even know that woman's name, the idiot. You're just white trash, Elizabeth. Look at your daughter, Diana, or your daughter-in-law, Diana, whoring around all over Europe. That scum son of yours. Both of them. Divorced many times. Yeah, the real hero was King Edward, I think. I can't even remember his name. I do know his name, and, and, and but he was a hero to me. <laughs> he said, I'm not putting up with you yeast-infested garbage. So you're not even the true royalty that should be there anyway. And, and you can tell it, because what England ended up with was a white, white trash. White trash, which, which abounds in your family. All of them. Whoremongers, sluts. Yep, you need to make a mosque, because that's what England has become. Uh, you, uh, because you've got a bunch of little wimpo uh, white males over there. White trash is what all of you are. You need to just go ahead and turn that, uh, make a mosque out of Buckingham Palace. Uh, you've lost to 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 that f uh, religious uh, f uh, religion of peace, Muslim. That religion of peace. So, to hell with the queen. No such thing. You will die as we all die. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you will go down in infamy. You didn't make history. You rode history like a horse. Somebody, when your daddy died, took you as a young woman and put you on a horse and said, Just ride. You're rich. <laughs> thank, thank the king that, that uh, exiled himself. To hell with you, England. Gordon Brown. Michael Savage knows what it is to be a free man. I know what it is to be a free man. Yep, Queen Elizabeth gets yeast infection. Queen Elizabeth's blood and genes are probably infected by inbreeding, just like the old Russian Tsar family. Well, garbage. Nobody wants to go to your country anyway. Put me on the list. Be a badge of honor. Put me on the no-fly list. You know, badge of honor. You may not agree with me, and I certainly don't agree with you, but uh, I have put my life on the line for my right to say what I want. Queen Elizabeth, the yeast-infested queen. the hell with England.